Hello, and I'm back weeks later. Um, no, maybe not not a whole week after the last video I recorded. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, well, after working a lot on that uh, PCB design, finally I got to see the result and look at how gorgeous, beautiful this is. This is, this is half of the board. Like I said, my software has a limitation that I had to design them like this and then have it like split in two, but it's okay. Yeah, if for a prototype, I think it's acceptable. Um, and it's the other half. This is where all the analogic uh, circuits go and the, the two YMs are gonna go here. You, probably remember if you pay attention on the layout of my other ones that they used to be like between uh, these two guys here but anyway uh, so this was designed so that the whole analogic side is completely isolated of the digital the ground is isolated everything is isolated so that it gets the least possible amount of uh, noise from the bus and any other digital thing that's going on here. Um, so pretty excited to, to, to see this thing uh, working and then uh, part of the plan is to put like a metal metal sheet covering this like to further isolate from any possible noise and hopefully it's gonna be very very quiet when it's not producing any sound. Uh, so with both boards combined, it, it will look something like this as a full size. Um, like I said, about about 60 centimeters in the whole width, and I think it's 15 centimeters. Yeah, 15 centimeters on the length, um, which is a little shorter than the other one. I think the other one was 18 or 20, perhaps. Um, so the other one was a little longer this is a little shorter but it's okay because like the whole idea is that it's gonna th this is gonna have a shell on top of it so it, the fact that the buttons are all here doesn't mean that the key the the, the tips of the keys are gonna be st staying here this is the space basically the keys are gonna be hinging somewhere around here and here will be the places that you where you connect them to so um, so when, when you when you press the key you're actually pressing the key down here uh, and then the board is on the top but this is gonna be all covered by a shell so you won't be you won't see anything like that uh, made at least two mistakes on this board that I already detected um, and they are one of those mistakes very prohibiting mistakes which is very disappointed um, but it is what it is and I'm gonna try to solve it uh, the MIDI this MIDI connector here I put three on the bottom and two on the top is the opposite basically it should have been three holes on the top and two holes on the bottom which means the MIDI connector won't connect there's nothing I can do that's gonna make this fit um, I may try to make a modification on the connector itself. Maybe I bend the pins inwards and then solder something so, for the, so that they come on the other end. I don't know. It might be too much of a uh, adaptation and end up uh, if end up getting worse than what it is. Uh, my other idea is to basically cut a piece of prototyping board solder the connector to it and then solder other connectors coming out of it to match this configuration which is eh, it's not gonna look pretty either but it's probably a better more elegant solution than um, bending pins and soldering, soldering pieces of wire or something to make to make them fit on the right position that was one the other one is in the volume fader um, the the size the size of space I put here is correct in the top but it's not correct in the bottom so basically where I have these four holes here 
uh, these four holes should have been a little down further which means if I try to put the, put the, the volume fader here it, it doesn't fit um, again same solution can be applied I can try to bend the pins and then solder something from here and then solder into it uh, actually downwards and 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 um, see if that would work but it's pretty bad you know, I may end up going with the adapter uh, approach here for the volume fader maybe it will work I don't know I'll have so much stuff to solder here still um, before I can worry about those so in the meantime I can let my brain have this background process uh, trying to find a better solution so yeah this is looking great uh, the other big parts such as this is where the the RCA uh, connects to this one I already connected it fits perfectly and this one has the encoder the encoder has some bigger holes here same like for the power switch for the power connector I already fit them in and they fit well um, so the only two non-standard size stuff that didn't or the only thing that non-standard size that didn't really fit was the volume fader and one that's all standard size but I made myself the favor of reversing the, the <laughs> order of the, the rows and got with an unconnectable uh, configuration here but uh, I guess for my first attempt um, it isn't that bad I mean it could have been much worse but I, I, I can't come in and now and say like oh yeah these are these were the only two mistakes because I still have to solder stuff here and make sure that it works so there might have been other mistakes as far as all the connections that goes between components I'll figure that out uh, I have this huge box from DigiKey it's full of all the components that are gonna go in they are different so many of them are different from what I used before because this time all my resistors are surface, surface mount resistors and same goes for the ceramic capacitors they all surface mount uh, I have a transistor that will go here that's also surface mount and I look at those on the package the reels oh Jesus they are tiny they are tiny and it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting for me soldering those here and um, I never soldered that kind of component before so God knows how much mess I'm gonna make here but uh, like I said it's my first I have to attempt maybe it's gonna look good maybe it won't but I'm gonna learn something and the, ne the next one is gonna be better now to order these I had to order five um, because they don't allow you to order less than five so I, if I build more I may end up continue building with the approach of the adapter uh, or the adaptation that I'm gonna have to do in order to get these um, these these components that I, I, I designed wrong the, the positions um, until I can order new boards with the corrections but that's only gonna happen uh, after I build this and make sure it is working and, and uh, there's no other no further revision to do at least on this design and then hopefully we're gonna be doing the Kickstarter and uh, we're gonna have some stretch goals to you know add more chips uh, there is at least the 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 PSG chip the SN uh, 7486 well I don't know something like that <laughs> I, I, it's easy for me to say numbers in Portuguese but it, it messed me up when I try to bring them up on the spot in English anyway um, so yeah the PSG chip we could have like a YM 2151 which is those that were used in arcades such as Street Fighter 2 and uh, uh, Final Fight and many others um, I could 
I could go also um, with other chips, other FM chips. There are other good FM chips. Like I think is the 2608 was the one that was in a sound blaster uh, 16. You know, so it, it can produce uh, many nostalgic sounds for people who played games on PC. Um, there are other chips that I want to explore how to hook them in, which are the SN the the SNES. Yes. That's another one, the SNES, because it, it has the APU thing, the DSP, it's, a, it's like a unit of, it's a self-contained unit of music, so I have to, to take a look at that too. And uh, the NES chip, which is something I would very, very much like to have here, however, the whole thing is built in the NES processor, which means it's not going to be as simple as it was with the YMs here with the with the Yamaha chips because they, these chips you just talk to them and they do what they do the SNES basic the NES you probably I will have to find a way to program it on the fly as you know as a as an actual processor and and see and get get the music out of it by that but then it has in it will need its own oscillator because you know, the whole timing thing is completely different um anyway without going too much into these details because i don't know them all fully by myself still um yeah i just wanted to show these pretty pretty boards uh, which should be actually like this uh, you probably was no you were probably noticing I was trying to rush through the last video that's because I was feeling that the video was gonna cut so I'm just not gonna extend much further on this one just to say that um, can't wait to build this uh, put place all the components see this working um, and then uh, start to start working on the shell and there is already something going on regarding that. I have a bell from Spain, which is a big friend of Chewy's, and I met him personally when I went to Ideame in Madrid. And he's a 3D modeler, and he is putting up together some very interesting designs for a shell for this. And this is part of what I needed. I needed to get these guys done. Um, so that I can assemble at least the connectors. I need to assemble the connectors here and get them uh, touching, you know, so that I can perfectly measure the distance between the holes and the whole, the full length of the stuff so that uh, he can build the bottom of the shell and, and then we're gonna know exactly uh, the size of everything and then we can start building them. Uh, I am gonna go with 3D printing for now just because it's completely impractical to produce anything real plastic. Um, I heard of uh, vacuum vacuum forming uh, as an alternative to 3D print printing but that involves having to have a, a sculpture of this done and I think I think 3D printing is just gonna be faster but it might be a step into vacuum for me and then from then a step into the actual uh, plastic injection modes but that's only after Kickstarter because I absolutely have no money for that basically I burned all the, the rest of my bucks on these and on, on these so now I just have to get this built get it looking pretty and then we can do a Kickstarter and uh, see if we can gather enough interest so that we can uh, raise enough money to build the actual shell like a plastic a real plastic shell and, and build new functions new chips um, maybe upgrade the MCU to something like a Raspberry Pi which is very powerful then will, would allow me to have like a this basically build a workstation out of this um, uh, like build a tracker and built-in tracker and multiple functions multiple stuff music players and you know <laughs> ideas 
we are not lacking ideas we're just uh, lacking resources we're gonna uh, work towards getting those uh, in a in a near future all right that's all for now i said i wasn't gonna extend this video much longer i ended up doing it but uh i appreciate the, the companionship you being here watching and following um let's build this dream bye bye